Hey guys, what's up? Super informal video today. However, I did give you the nice sequence background. Hello. All right, I want to talk to you guys about the new Ben & Jerry's ice cream coming out. So what I understand is that there's four different flavors coming out in a couple weeks. It's almond milk, so it's ve and it's full vegan. Now, most people that I've seen are super, super excited about it. I don't think they use very good ingredients, but we're talking about ice cream. What I'm trying to say is ice cream and cookies and stuff like that, they're treats. They're not a major staple part of your diet, or at least they shouldn't be. If you find an ice cream that you like and it's a treat here and there, then whatever, then buy it. Now, you have a very small, tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of people that are like, oh, it's it's owned by Unilever because it is not owned by the two original guys anymore. I think back then they did use better ingredients. Now it's kind of shittier ingredients, but I don't necessarily want to get into the ingredients because like I said, we're just talking about as a treat. So anyways, the, it's owned by Unilever, which is a huge, massive corporation. Some people are like, oh, Unilever, the parent corporation tests on animals and I don't want to support that. Let's talk about the good and the bad real quick about this. The bad is that if it's Unilever, it's a big corporation, and yes, we kind of in general, if you want to support a smaller corporation or a corporation that just makes vegan items or something, I understand where those people are coming from. Here's my thing. Right now, with plant-based diets and going vegan and stuff like that, I encourage all companies to be producing these things. Because if uh, so many people say, oh, it's uh, owned by Unilever and I'm not going to buy it. If enough people did that, then what would happen? Then Unilever might look at it and go, oh, this vegan thing is bunk. And nobody really wants to buy this shit. And so now we're not having any sales. So now we're going to go back to focusing <coughs> our efforts on regular animal-based foods. So there's this kind of a a fine line sort of thing but right now my take on everything is that we need any and every fucking company to make plant-based vegan items and options okay nobody out there thinks that cookies and ice cream is good and a health food for you so we'll have to tackle that later on but if you already eat healthy finding a vegan version of ice cream you're, it's not like you're going to change and become unhealthy and you want to um, now eat cookies and ice cream all the time unless you're just changing your whole diet. So my point is, is I encourage any and all companies, big companies, small companies, everybody, to make vegan items. Sorry, my cat bandits meowing down here. And we need to make sure that we're excited about that and pushing that because they are the ones that are going to get out to the big masses. If you heard of some little company that just made a new vegan ice cream and it's a little company that you never heard of that they don't have in many stores and stuff like that, it's not creating that big of an impact on the whole going like vegan and plant-based and stopping animal cruelty and stuff like that. They're, they don't have as much of an impact. Company like Ben & Jerry's, an ice cream like Ben & Jerry's, making four vegan ice creams, okay, that are gonna be mass distributed out to many, many different stores. And people are gonna see that, and they're gonna try it, and they're gonna, hopefully, I'm hoping that Ben & Jerry's, and it's not out yet, so I haven't tried it, I'm hoping that Ben & Jerry's did a really good job as far as taste-wise. Once again, I'm not talking about health stuff. I hope they did a really good job making it taste really good so people will like it and be like, oh, this vegan food or this vegan ice cream is actually really good. I could get this again. Oh, and it doesn't have lactose. Oh, I'm not allergic to it. You know, and we're helping save the planet and we're not killing animals and, 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 and. So the point I'm trying to make is anytime I see somebody coming out with something plant-based or vegan, I get excited. So I think that this is really cool. I think it's a really good thing. And for the people out there that are focused on the ingredients and saying the ingredients are not really good and the you know, that it's owned by Unilever and stuff like that, step back and look at the big picture. A huge company is making an ice cream, okay, that it's going to get mass produced out. So regardless of the ingredients, you better fucking hope that it's really, really good and that it blows fucking people's fucking doors off and they're excited about it. Because what we don't need is them making an ice cream that tastes like shit. And so then tons of new people try this new ice cream, it tastes fucking terrible, and they're like, oh, I tried some vegan stuff once. It was fucking gross. I'm never trying it again. It's not the attitude we need. It's not the 
It's not the help that we need to try to help people go plant-based. We can tackle the health stuff later on. I'm not encouraging junk food eating, but you understand what I'm saying, like just getting people over. And nobody thinks that cookies and ice cream and stuff like that is good and healthy anyways. There's nobody out there gonna be like, well, it's vegan and it's ice cream, so it's totally really good for me and healthy. Nobody's, I don't think anyone's gonna think that. Anyway, so hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about. Hopefully this video makes sense. Let's just make sure we're looking at the big picture. Don't get you know swallowed up in the small little details right now. We can do that later on. Right now, more people, plant-based, vegan, more companies, any companies, whatever. Make that shit, okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye.